Hi friends, welcome to Introducing. My name is Irina and I work for the National Portrait Gallery, where we share the stories of people who have helped shape the United States. Each week for Introducing, we shine a light on some of this country's history makers and their portraits. Just like reading a book, looking at a portrait can tell a story too. This week, I want to introduce you to Sequoia, and this is his portrait. It was painted by the artist Henry Inman, who created this portrait after a painting by Charles Bird King. Sequoia was born over 250 years ago, around the year 1770. He was a member of the Cherokee Nation. The Cherokee Nation is a group of indigenous or native peoples in the United States. In this portrait, we can see that Sequoia is sitting. He has on a long blue pinstriped coat with two other shirts underneath of it, a red shirt and a white collared shirt. On his head, Sequoia is wearing a red and white turban. His head is turned towards us, the viewer, and his eyes are looking slightly off to the side. Let's now look at the objects in this painting. What objects can you spot? I can see that Sequoia has a pipe in his mouth and he has a medal around his neck. I can also see in this portrait an inkwell and a feather pen that sit on the table next to him. Can you spot them? The inkwell and feather pen are used for writing. Can you spot the object in this portrait that has some writing on it? That's right, right here. Some of the writing on this object might look familiar to us. Maybe we can spot what may look like some letters of the English alphabet. But these letters are actually symbols that make up the Cherokee syllabary. Invented by Sequoia, the Cherokee syllabary is a set of symbols that were created to form a written version of the Cherokee language. Just like the letters in the English alphabet, these symbols can be combined to make words. Altogether, there are 86 symbols that make up the Cherokee syllabary. The Cherokee people have a great history of storytelling and spoken language. But until Sequoia invented the Cherokee syllabary, they had no form of written language. Sequoia spent 12 years creating the Cherokee syllabary. He wanted everyone to be able to read and write in Cherokee. At first though, the syllabary wasn't accepted by everyone in the Cherokee nation. People didn't understand its value. But Sequoia's work with students, including his six-year-old daughter, actually helped to convince people that the Cherokee syllabary would be useful. In this portrait, we can see Sequoia holding up the Cherokee syllabary with one hand, and with the other hand, he points to the symbols. Can you pose like Sequoia? His pose might suggest to us that he is showing us or presenting to us his syllabary, or perhaps maybe Sequoia is even trying to teach us how to use it. Sequoia's syllabary made it possible for many important stories, rules, and traditions to be written down, including Cherokee laws, books, and a newspaper called the Cherokee Phoenix. And for his work in creating the Cherokee syllabary, Sequoia was awarded a medal from the Cherokee National Council. So with that, friends, I want to thank you for listening to Introducing this week, and we hope to see you right back here next week for another one.